Hi guys, I'm Mel and I blog at lequandomel.com. Um, this little video is completely improvised. It's really unlike me because I don't really do anything like that. <laughs> and I want to get better with this vlogging lark and, you know, start to understand it and start to feel more comfortable. I love watching vlogs and I watch them all the time. But I just feel like a living idiot <laughs> in front of my camera with nobody in the room, I'm talking to you, but I'm actually, in fact, talking to Lens, and I feel so awkward doing this. I just want to get, you know, used to it, get better at it, feel more natural, feel more normal, feel like me. So unless you do it, you're not going to get there. So, you know, practice makes perfect. I might look like an idiot now, but hopefully I'll feel more confident in the future. So here you go. So um, the theme for this little video is going to be five things I couldn't live without. You know, obviously there are things I really, really couldn't live without people, so many people. But I'm not going to talk about people or, you know, human feelings or needs like food and things. I'm going to talk about things. The first thing I couldn't live without is sunshine. I know you can't touch sunshine and sunlight, but daylight to me is essential. I mean, without daylight, I just feel I don't know, I can't even explain how I feel. I suffer from SAD, so um, SAD. Uh, so in basically in winter, when there is less daylight, I just feel, I don't know, depressed, awful. I miss the sun, I just need the feeling of the sun on my skin and oh, I love it. I think I was, I was made to, to live in the tropics or somewhere, really lovely and warm. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> where it's always grey and cold, but there you go. Um, at this time of the year, spring is my favourite time of the year because the days get longer and it just, just feels like the end, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. I love it, absolutely love this time of the year. It feels like you know, it's getting better and better and better, but then by the end of August I'm like, <laughs> this is getting worse, the days are getting shorter. So there you go, daylight. The second thing I couldn't live without is my my camera oh my gosh i love that camera so much and last year i had to upgrade and i just went all the way and upgraded to um a full frame camera a, a canon 5d mark iii and i love this baby it's just it's just perfect it's perfect for photos it's perfect for videos it's it's just a beautiful camera it's a bit heavier than my old camera but you know what i just I love it. It's in my handbag all the time. I just carry it around and take photos all the time and I love it. I could not live without it. I know that a lot of people say, oh, I take all my photos on my phone. Yeah, I can understand that. It's really good, it's practical. You've always got your phone on you. It doesn't compare. It just does not compare. So yeah, my camera is my, my second thing that I love uh, and I couldn't live without. My third thing, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this MacBook Pro is, it's a beast. It's just a beast. If you told me two years ago you will be a Mac addict, I don't think I would have believed you. You know, it's like selling your soul to Mac and to Apple and, and never getting it back. <laughs> I've got an iPhone, an iPad and a MacBook Pro and I would not live without them. Now, I was a Windows girl all my life. I trained on Windows, I learned Windows, I taught GCSE. Just a sec. Look at this! Girls, I'm filming. I'm filming. <gasps> You're not allowed to open those! They've opened the box, they're not allowed to open. How many did you open? Just one? Yeah. Okay, just go back downstairs. <laughs> open the box. I don't know where it comes from. Right, that is beautiful. Let me see. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I love it. It's for us. It's beautiful. I don't know where it's from, so I didn't open the boxes. But off you go, off you go. Shoo, shoo. You're not allowed to bounce. Don't open the other boxes. These kids, they were watching TV. I thought I was safe. It wasn't. I've received so many boxes today, it's ridiculous. So yeah, my MacBook Pro. I bought it about 10 months ago, and I will never, ever go back to Windows. Ever. It's just crazy. So like I said, I strained on Windows, even taught, taught it up to GCSE level. And yeah, I just thought that Macs were weird and difficult to use and blah. But then when I bought my last two PCs, my last two, um, what do you call them? 
Laptops, that's what you call them. My last two laptops, um, I just thought they were awful. Seriously, after like two months, the quick, fast things were just getting slow. I couldn't edit a video on them. Uh, I was uploading photos and because I shoot in RAW, in RAW format, it's a much bigger format than JPEG. Because I shoot in, in RAW, it was taking about a three second delay between photos if I was watching them. Three second delay when you're taking a thousand photos, just ridiculous. It was taking me all day to just look at photos so I could delete the rubbish ones. So that was awful. Uh, we have a Mac store, an Apple store in my town. So about eight minutes walk, perfect. I was going to the Mac store all the time, Apple store all the time, asking questions, going to John Lewis as well and asking questions, trying, you know, trying, and it's really intuitive. It's so intuitive, it's unbelievable. If you own an iPhone or, a, or a, what do you call it, iPad, it'll be a breeze. I mean, it was really easy to transfer for, from Windows to Mac, and I wouldn't go the other way again. They also have lessons for free all the time in the Apple store. So I was, you know, when I started, I would only use it in the lessons because I didn't want to get confused. So I kept using my Windows PC, a laptop for a bit. And then my Mac, I was just using it in the lessons. And I was going to about two... Um, like Not now, you don't do that. Put the scissors away. Last time she used scissors, she cut her sister's hair. Put the scissors away. Should better be quick. So anyhow, yeah, so I, I went to look at the free lessons. I love this baby, would not change it for the world. Uh, my fourth thing is a sharp knife. <laughs> Don't think I'm a weirdo, I'm a cook, I love cooking. Um, I need a sharp knife and I was thinking, okay, so if I could have just one thing in my kitchen or if I was in the woods and I had to cook or something, I'm sure I could make a fire somehow. Twigs and stuff. Um, but a sharp knife isn't essential. I mean, I couldn't live without a sharp knife. These ones, these babies are brilliant. I buy them from John Lewis. They're Victorinox? Victorinox? I don't know, it's a, it's, a, it's a Swiss brand, I think. And they are brilliant. Absolutely love these little knives. They're about nine, nine, ten pounds. And these are my favorite knives. And the last thing is wipes. I mean, what kind of mum in this? day and age could, could live without wipes. I know we grew up without wipes, but I couldn't live without wipes. I mean, I use wipes to clean, not just my kids, you know, I wipe my kids, obviously, but I wipe myself, you know, too, sometimes, a wipe shower, woo. Um, I wipe the house, top to bottom, the toilets, the, the sink, not with the same wipe, um, and other things. Um, wipe stains, stains of carpet, stains of the walls. Um, yeah, I just use wipes all the time, couldn't live without them. So there you go, they're my five things I couldn't live without. Are there any things that you couldn't live without other than these five lovely things? Uh, just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, um, just give me a little like, press subscribe, watch another video baby. Bye bye guys.